All right, so in this movement, we're gonna go over the dumbbell floor press. So we're gonna perform this on the ground. You can use a yoga mat if you'd like a little bit more support. So what you're gonna start out doing is up in the seated position, you wanna pick those weights up and put them right on your knees. Corey, go ahead and pick them up to your knees. Uh, and actually, yeah, rest them right here. And I'll show you why in a second. And actually get them uh, kind of like this long one, like that, perfect. Keep the knees bent like you did. Awesome, so now you can go ahead and lay right down and then you can kick the weights to your chest. Yeah, and that'll be more important when you have heavier weights. When you get the heavier weights, it's harder to get them into position. Okay, so now what we wanna make sure is that Corey's elbows are at about a 45 degree angle. Again, if his elbows were straight out, that would be 90 degrees. So now I'm gonna have to go ahead and inhale and then exhale and push those weights up. Great, and then return right back down. So the benefit of the floor press is that we're gonna engage those triceps a little bit more and work at the top of our bench press. So those people who have weakness from here to there in their bench press, this is gonna help them develop that uh, and get stronger. So that is how you do the dumbbell floor press.